So, in the previous part of testing I-525... Uh. Can you guys... Shut your s- Okay, so in the previous part of testing I-52500K, we found out that... Bro! Hey you! Leave the jacket and get out! Okay, so we found out that it still runs half of the games tested, but I mean, it is starting to feel outdated. However, there's this thing called overclocking, and luckily this ASRock motherboard allowed me to crank, crank, crank. Crank up this thing to 4.6 GHz in literally 10 seconds. So the first thing I did afterwards was Cinebench R20. And we got whopping 1248 points and if we do some quick mess, that's 39.9% improvement. The temps were also okay, maxing out at only 74 degrees. That's basically Antarctica. And what did you do in Pennsylvania? Well, okay, on 3D Mark Time Spy, the CPU score improvement was down to 28.2%. But synthetic benchmarks mean nothing if I can't crank some 90s in Fortnite, right? Well, <laughs> I still couldn't do them, but that's not the processor's fault this time. On 1080p low settings, average frame rate increased by 10.7%, but that's not the point. Stutters and frame drops I experienced in the last video totally disappeared. Like, seriously, if I was 9 years old, I mean, I am 9 years old but mentally i would beg my parents to get me a new pc since the gameplay was honestly annoying with the stutters but now i am genuinely satisfied with its performance i tell you what though folks that's bloody nice valorant on the other hand ran pretty well on stock speeds already so 18.8 percent average frame rate increase on 1080p medium settings is welcome of course but could be left unnoticed especially for 60 hertz monitor users apex legends average frame rate increased by 12.9 Guys, as for what happened in GTA 5, you will not believe this. You won't believe it! You will not. 1.8% FPS improvement. And the CPU is still at 100% load all the time. Hello Rockstar support, this is me again. Now, let's remember games that were quite unplayable last time. And as for the Call of Duty Warzone, it got more playable. Yeah! I mean, you still need a small monitor or like 5 meter viewing distance from the screen to see through pixels, but yeah, average frame rate increased by 16.8% and most importantly, latency went down quite a bit, which made the game actually playable. And uh, this is the moment where you see that little star on top of the text cause it was playable only on 720p low settings. Anything higher and you're just, yeah, you, you die. What about Cyberpunk then? No baby! Okay, okay, just look at the games! 49.5% increase. You know, I'm no stocks broker, but that's an insane return of one minute work investment. The question remains up to you if you're willing to complete the story mode on 720p low. And thank you for the comments in the last video, oh, last last video. I'll try the story mode on my free time. Rainbow Six Siege, like Valorant, was a game which already ran great on stock speeds, but a free 17.5% FPS increase? Give me that. To my surprise, Red Dead Redemption 2 hey, yo, what the f two didn't improve that much on the average frame rate using 900p low settings and, to be honest, gameplay experience difference wouldn't pass a blind test. Now, Forza Horizon 4 was the first game where my GTX 960 bottlenecked. Now, I'm not sure whether to be happy or not, but it resulted in a FPS increase of only 7.5% on 1080p high settings. Although that's not a problem because the game ran fine before the overclock. And finally, CSGO. This game, let's just say, has an interesting influence on people's behavior. <laughs> and this CPU's overclock has an insane influence on FPS. Like, Damn! look at the numbers. 59.5% FPS increase on 1080p low. It's insane and it's the game that it really matters. Like, woo! So, after testing everything, I feel guilty now for not trying to go for something like 4.8 GHz, given that the overclocking procedure was basically effortless. But one thing is for sure, this CPU came back for a second life. The performance increase was more than noticeable, especially like in Fortnite, Cyberpunk, Warzone, CSGO. And this is a 15 euro processor. If you have the ability to overclock it and you haven't done that already, bro, you're missing out. You good, bro? Bro! Bro! Can you understand him? <laughs>